Hello, my soapy friends, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Lissa, also known as the Soap Chef on this channel, where we make all things with a rather good lather. I'm a professional soap maker, aromatherapist, and bath bomb expert for over two decades. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, friends, we are over here at Creation Station, and we're going to make a very quick and easy shaving cream for the guys or for the girls for their legs. But this primarily is going to be for my men's line that I'm coming out with um, for the holidays. I don't really sell men's products throughout the year in my area. Men's products don't sell well. They just don't. I don't know what the deal is with my area. It's wonky. But I still love my community. Anywho, moving on. So this is just going to be foaming bath butter and some other extra added goodies that we're going to add in, including some shea butter. Um, the recipe will be posted over on the member section, which you can join for $6.99. Okay, let's get to it, right? So in here, I've got my foaming bath butter, which I make myself. That will be in a whole totally different video. This one is extremely easy. It's literally two ingredients, so easy. Anyhow, so we've got our shea butter in here. I'm gonna go put it on the stand mixer. We're gonna start gently whipping this. I do not wanna create a ton of air in this product. I just wanna get this to the consistency um, where it's going to be a little bit more like a cream instead of like a hard butter, like what it is right now. That's a hard butter. So to this, I'm going to be adding my glycerin right now because I want to give that um, a little help in getting to be a little bit more liquidy. So I'm gonna put my glycerin in right now. And then we're gonna go and set that onto my stand mixer on low and let that start going. All right, there's our foaming bath butter and our glycerin. We're gonna put that aside, go and put that on the mixer. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our shea butter and we're going to put that in a little bit of water in the bottom of my stainless pot Put that on the stove and start melting that down. I'll bring you back when we're all ready to go for the next phase. A few moments later. Okay, we are back. And unfortunately, my camera battery died as I was over there in the other part of the facility and I'm whipping up this stuff. The shea butter melted all down and then I let that cool down for a good probably 10 minutes till it started to form a little bit of a skin on the top there, started to get a little bit solid. That's when I like to add it and then I started filming and my camera battery died. So the shea butter is already incorporated in here. You guys saw how much it was. I just put that in that pot. I went, melted it down, let it sit for about 10, 15 minutes to start to cool down. I had already whipped this all up added the shea butter, whipped it some more. So now we're gonna continue on with the rest of this. We're gonna add some kale and clay because that is great in a shaving cream so that your razor can kind of give a little bit of a slip and a glide. And let's incorporate that. All right, so you guys can see the consistency, right? It's not like airy. I want it to be thick. I don't want it to be, you know, really, really light and, and whipped like a whipped body butter or a whipped sugar scrub. I don't want all that air in there. I want it still to be thick because this is designed to be used with a badger bristle um, brush. Anyways, moving on, we are going to be adding our vitamin E because that's a good antioxidant right into the pool. Not to be confused with preservatives. It happens, you guys. When I was new over two decades ago, I thought that rosemary extract and vitamin E were really good preservatives. They're not. They're good antioxidants. They don't help to prevent microbial growth. All right, so there's the vitamin E. Uh, next, we are going to add our preservative, even though there is no water in this formulation. Um, there's gonna be water introduced to it. There just is, you know, the guys are gonna be taking their brush and getting it wet, dipping it into the container and doing all of those things. So there's our preservative. And lastly, we're gonna add our scent. And this is my own proprietary blend of essential oils. Less is more with essential oils, especially when you're dealing with things that are going to be put onto your face because our facial skin is extremely sensitive. All right, let's give this a blend. All 
Okay, we have everything combined. Now we're just gonna go ahead and get these into our containers. I'm just gonna do one, maybe two. Put it up on our scale, because I am selling these. Again, this is gonna be much more thick. Let me just get this into the right mode here. I'm on ounces, or grams instead of ounces. Um, this is gonna be much more thick than, you know, what, what I would consider to be a, a regular, like a shaving cream. This is more of like a shaving butter. It's, it's quite thick, but it's designed that way. I don't want all that air in there. I don't want it to be light and fluffy. And I'm just packing this down as much as I can here. This should give me about three and a half ounces per container. And then again, the guys are gonna be using um, the Badger Bristle brushes with this. And I sell this as a kit with the shaving butter the shaving brush, and a shaving razor. And these are gonna be really, really nice for gifts for the men for the holiday season. All right, so I'm just gonna put just a tad more to make it an even four ounces, actually. Oh, a little bit too much. There you go. That's exactly four ounces right there. Just smooth out the top. And that's it, you guys. There's our beautiful shave butter. But let's do a lather test. We can't make a product without doing a test. Hold, please. Okay, I am back. Let's do a lather test on this and see what's up. I just got a, a small little plastic spoon. I don't want to use the same spoon that I just used to try to fill the containers. Little spritz of alcohol, and I'm just going to grab just ever so little of a little pea like a pea size, it's nothing. It's literally nothing. Let's put that on there first. Let, how does it feel? Ooh, that feels nice. It's not grainy, it's not chunky, it's, just, it's thick, which is what I wanted it to be. All right, let's get in here now. My God. Yeah, baby. Oh my God, I actually want to go and shave my legs now. Holy mackerel, you guys. Silky. Oh my. Yeah, baby. I mean, this is a formula that I've made before, but I just tweaked it this year because, you know, we all should be learning and growing and advancing. Look at this. This is fantastic. Look. Oh my God, it's so silky. It's literally so silky. Oh, I'm loving this. Yeah, this is this is great. Oops, I just made a mess everywhere. I'm gonna bring it back towards me a little bit. All right, you guys, so that is it. We have done a very, very simple shave butter. Very simple. You guys can grab the recipe over in the member section on the channel. It's only a few ingredients. Again, those ingredients are the foaming bath butter. You can either make that yourself. Even look at the, look, if I agitate this water. Look at this. This is insane. Yeah, baby. All right, anyways, foaming bath butter, glycerin, mix that all up, shea butter, your kale and clay, your vitamin E, your preservative, and your scent. Did I miss anything? I think that's all. Anyways, like I said, the recipe is going to be over there in the members section. Go and grab that for $6.99, as well as all my other recipes that I have over there. Whoo! This has been fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up for me, would you please? Like, comment, share, subscribe, do all of those lovely things that we all ask of you all the time. It just helps our channel. All right, you guys, till we meet again, be kind and stay humble. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you soon.